hear it. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You, Lord, turn our hearts back to God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You, O Christ, watch over the way of the just. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You, Lord, are our hope for eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If the dead are not raised, neither has Christ raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is in vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ is raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. So this weekend we celebrate World Marriage Day. World Marriage Day was designated as a day of honor, a day to honor husbands and wives for their contributions to our world, since they serve as the foundation of the family and the domestic church. It was in 1993 that Blessed Pope John Paul II placed his apostolic blessing on World Marriage Day and designated it to be the second Sunday of February each year. As Catholics, we recognize marriage as being a sacrament of witness in the presence of God between a man and a woman, a unique vocation of being called to the joy of love. 
Now, it's not news to any of us here today that this is not necessarily the view of many people in our world. The bridal industry does almost $58 billion worth of business every year, and weddings occur in a variety of different settings, from a wedding chapel in Las Vegas, where you can be buried by an Elvis impersonator, or to the grandest of destination weddings located on a tropical beach. So by now, you have to be asking yourself, why is he bringing this all up? Well, it just serves as one example of what Jesus is talking about in the Gospel today. Our thoughts and feelings as Catholics are oftentimes rejected by the world today. It was just two Sundays ago in our Gospel reading that Jesus was almost thrown off of a cliff by the folks in his own hometown as a result of his preaching. At times, when our thoughts are rejected by others, we have to remember that being rejected on Jesus' account brings us a great reward in heaven. God is at work in the world attempting to transform values and challenging the perceptions of an increasingly secular world, a world that places more value on human ideas than the ideas of God. One of our greatest temptations as people is the desire for approval, for popularity, or even more simply put, just to fit in and not stand out in the crowd. That's why Jesus reminds us through the Beatitudes of the need to look after the poor, the hungry, and those weeping, overwhelmed, by the emotional events of their day and time. A mission that I've already seen being carried out in our pastor every day through any number of programs, including the food pantry, visits to the homebound, and any a number of other outreach programs. However, we need to be constantly on our guard not to be those people that have the resources like money and food, who live happily, oblivious to the needs of others, because their time will come and they will not be judged faithfully. So don't get me wrong. We don't need to live in poverty, be miserable. But what we do need to do is be aware of the needs of others and be willing to share when we have more than we actually need. We're called for all of our brothers and sisters through exhibiting a selfless love, a mature, merciful love that takes many different forms beyond the attitudes, being sympathetic to others and acknowledging that they're doing their best, although the outcome may not be what we expect. Recognizing that when someone is tired or angry, that they may be experiencing their own struggles or simply overwhelmed by their current life situation. Just being patient. Patient with someone and offering them help instead of adding to their list of woes. We need to be merciful to others as we expect God to be merciful to us. To be a Catholic is to be inherently different than all of the other peoples of the world. We know and understand the importance of trusting in God and the foolishness of our own human nature. None of us want to be the false prophets of Jesus today. We should all strive to be the true prophets that trust in God and speak God's truth regardless of the consequences, while at the same time taking care of each other and the most vulnerable in our society. As true prophets, we are called to any number of vocations. 
most in service to others, and especially to the most vulnerable. And although at times we will be forced to endure insult or hurt feelings, we must always remember that the reward will be the greatest reward of all, eternal salvation. Brothers and sisters, let us stand as we profess our faith is found in the nice and I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, for and of God. trust in the Lord. Let us turn to God, our hope and our delight. Our response to each petition is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will continue to work for the poor and the oppressed. In your mercy, the Lord, hear our prayer. That nations will work for justice and peace. In your mercy, the Lord, hear our prayer. That those who endure hardship and suffering will be consoled. In your mercy, the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are nearing the end of this earthly pilgrimage, that they will be ready to meet their reward in heaven. In your mercy, the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That this community will serve the needs of our brothers and sisters with love. In your mercy, the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That God will guide those working for peace and speed the day when all emergency and military personnel may return safely to their families. In your mercy, the Lord, 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 that the sick will find a renewed spirit through God's perfect word of life, including those listed in our bulletin, and Kathy McMullen, Bina Fink, Ed Modlin, Fred Witchak. Felicia Hillary, Claire Lynn, and Nellie Velasco. In your mercy, the Lord, 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 for the intentions that we hold in our hearts, and especially for Dolores Turkowski, for whom this Mass is offered. In your mercy, the Lord, 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 we lift up all the needs of the poor locally and far away. We pray for the respect and protection of all life and conceptions and natural death. We pray for our 58 seminarians in the Archdiocese and for a continuous increase in holy vocations. We pray to the Lord. The Lord the Lord. Lord. He, loving God, your mercy knows no bounds to all who put their trust in you. Hear our prayer and guide us in our work for the coming of your reign. 
We ask this through Christ our Word. Amen. Amen. For in you we live and move and have our being. 
And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we have played. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and William our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
keep on the side. I'm asking him to come to the middle. Okay.
can receive free COVID-19 tests, test kits, I should say, from Anne Arundel County um, Medical Services. They are available at the church entrances, including uh, paper instructions that go with them. Anybody uh, this week, for, they are available for any, take, you know, as many as you need, really, um, if, if anybody wants them for future testing. Our office is taking sign-ups for third grade or older students interested in becoming ultra servers. And also, um, if you miss the um, end of life, um, the Catholic end of life discussions that um, how to prepare, uh, you know, medically and spiritually for end of life issues, uh, Nancy will be Nancy Caltel will be offering it today at Our Lady of Perpetual Health. We had it here last week. It will be at Our Lady of Perpetual Health at approximately, approximately 11.15 this morning. Let us pray. <laughs> Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Please join in singing our closing hymn, number 532. Sing of the Lord's goodness, number 532.